now, so I'm just going to take the PCB off the bottom. Okay, just going to ease this off using a screwdriver. We're going to start putting the components on it. But first of all, what I'm going to do is there's a slight modification I'm going to make to this board. Um, you'll notice the right hand sensor there, I've just removed the black off the top so you can see the track. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break that track and it's the naught volts that go to the right hand sensor and I'm going to run it from that pin there which I'll explain later put, putting a wire link across there. This will uh, make the sensors less susceptible to noise when the mouse is travelling along. Um, I found this works okay with uh, a 28X1 but if you're going to put a 28X2 chip in it makes the sensors more reliable because it seems a little bit more susceptible to, to noise being fed back to it and you, you get sensor readings that are, that are up and down. It's quite, it's quite a tricky thing, you don't want to damage any more of the PCB. It's just got it on a resistance test so that you can see if something's connecting or not. Um, We're in the IC holders. Right, let's get them right around. Soldering iron fallen over. Let's put them like that. I'm going to do two at a time because I think it's easier. Okay, that's those ones done. Let's put these in now. Right, next thing is a battery connector. I'm going to cut the wires to four and a half centimetres. So that's there. Right. Okay. I'm going to thread them through. You've got two holes at the back of the board. Uh, the square pad is the positive. You've got a little positive sign by it. So I'm putting a red wire through there. And we're just going to solder them in place. Okay, we're putting the diodes in now. Right. You can see which way round they are by the drawing on the PCB, which should line up with the white stripe on the diode. I'm going to trim the legs off. I'll trim them off as we go along. Capacitors in little capacitors that we're going to put across the chips, and power lines on the chips that will just smooth out, smooth out any power spikes you get. So that one in. in the two capacitors in over the driver chips. that wire right back so that those two wires there don't touch each other. The light to voltage converters these are basically the sensors. Right, get that in there. So the tiniest amount of solder you want on these So we've got one in there. These are actually static sensitive, so you, if you um, if you're putting them together, you want, you want to be fairly sure that you've not got a lot of static around. Okay, that looks good. Let's trim that off. We've now got the encoders for the wheels. These are actually photo transistors. Uh, they've got a little tiny mark. I don't know if you can actually see it. The very corner of it there is actually chamfered, and those need to point towards the centre of the PCB. So we'll put it there. I've just noticed that the 
legs are a bit short for the surface mount pads so I'm going to add in a little tiny piece of wire So that one's in there and I've just added an extra bit of wire, one of the off cuts off, uh, off the capacitors I think. And Okay, we're now going to start with the resistors. Okay, I'm going to start with the 100k resistors. So six of them. When you're soldering any of the components that are close to the wall sensors, you have to make sure that you don't get the sensor too hot. Keep the soldering iron pointing away from them. Pretty much done with the resistors. I've just got to put this one in. Okay, I'm going to put the capacitors in now for the sensors. Next, we're going to put the buttons on. I've right, got the buttons. I've soldered those in. And we've got the voltage regulator. Goes through there, that way around. Right, trim that off. This is the capacitor. We have to make sure we get this the right way around. The white stripe is negative. Uh, just slide in there. On off switch on. Trim those wires off there. Okay, we're going to put some LEDs on. Now, on the LED, the shorter leg is the cathode, and with here, the cathode goes at the front. So, I'm going to put the green one in the middle. Okay, so you can see they're all the same way around. Let's hold it in. With these ones, we're going to put the cathode. It's actually going to go. That side there. Next thing is to put the gearbox on. Let's already put it on once. It should fairly clip on fairly easy. Just be careful of all the components. I'll screw that in. Right. Now we're on for the motor wires. Okay, so we can tidy those up. Now, we've got jack plugs. Right, so they're on. We've got a relay that reverses the motor. Okay, so the relay's in there. This area here also holds the battery in nicely. 